Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. You know, if you're a so-called serious boxing fan, or, you know, you like to call yourself a hardcore fan or whatever, you know, we can do that. We can talk about technique and styles and all the rest of it. But there is something appealing, almost a guilty pleasure, about watching two big heavyweights knock the crap out of each other. <laughs> uh, there was a good example of it. Well, actually, they weren't knocking the crap out of each other. One of them was knocking the crap out of the other one. But Martin Bacoli... All 300 pounds of him, outrageously heavy, um, basically just beat up Carlos Takam in a fight which was, um, it was a battle of um, Tony Yoka uh, winners, conquerors. Um, in the first round, um, the 300 pound Bacoli just sort of planted himself in the middle of the ring and just just through, you know, jabs. I mean, and you thought, well, is he way, way too heavy? Well, he is too heavy. 300 pounds is ridiculous. I don't know if he was injured or what the crack was, but to come in that heavy, I mean, it's ridiculous, ludicrous. Um, and in the first round, he was just he was just controlling it with a jab, which is fine. You can do that. You know, it's a 10-round fight. Um, and, you know, Takan was sort of looking at him and trying to bob and weave and thinking, how can I get in? How can I get in close? In the second round, he had a little bit of success uh, and did get in close, and had a couple of good punches, and he thought, okay, you know. Um, but there's no doubt that Bacoli, when he did start to let his punches go, especially in the third round, I mean, he was beating the beating the living tar out of uh, poor old Takam. 42 years old now, Takam. A real war horse, kind of like a, you know, a French, uh, was he French Cameroon or whatever he is? I don't know. Um you know, a French Derek Chisora type, you know, a real war horse, terrific servant to the sport. Um, and in the third round, Bacoli decides, OK, you know, I'll plant myself on the ropes. And Takam thinks, oh, you know, maybe Christmas has come early. So he gets in close and starts, you know, trying to land the overhand rights. Lots and lots of big hooks. You know how Takam fights. But Bacoli, for a big man, a very big man, was fighting well on the inside. He was landing some very good punches and started you know, hooking, throwing his own hooks and actually, you know, may have got the best of it in the third round. By the end of the third round, um, you know, Bacoli was, was he, he'd wobbled Takam. Takam looked shaken. And then when he did come off the ropes and started unloading the, 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 the combinations, he was, he was causing Takam some real problems and Takam's legs were shaky. Well, in the fourth round, Bacoli came out looking to finish it and he just, again, 300 pounds worth of heavyweight, huge arms on the guy. He walked forward, cut the ring off very, very well, actually, for a man of that size. You know, Takam was used to trying to use the ring, but his legs hadn't recovered. And um, eventually, I'll say eventually, it was only about a minute, minute in, minute and a half in, Bacoli caught up with him, un unloaded and just... Oh, 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 I should point out, actually, in the fourth round, he landed three, at least three, fantastic le left hooks to the body, which slowed down um, Takam. Almost floored him. The first one almost floored him. But um, he stayed on his feet somehow, but he, he, was, he obviously his legs wouldn't wouldn't carry him as far as they were. He had to slow down. And that's when B Bacoli moved forward, got on him, unloaded a barrage of punches to the head. I mean, a real salvo. It was very, very impressive handwork from, from Bacoli. And the referee jumped in quite rightly and stopped the fight. Um, and Takam, Takam sat on his sat on his stool for a few minutes. You no, know, well, for a minute there was there was some real concern because he looked, you know, um, he, I don't know whether he was just it was the body shots that did him. I think I hope. Um, but Takam, forty two now. Come on, he's taken a load of beatings, and uh, this was this is one of the worst. Maybe it's time for him to call it a day, but. Well done to Bacoli, all 300 pounds of him. He's got to slim down, though. He won't be able to do that to everyone. Not everyone is a six foot two inch or six foot one inch 42 um, year old heavyweight. If he wants to beat the, the, the movers and the, the ones who have, who have size as, as well as uh, speed, he's going to have to do a, he's going to have to be in better shape than that. But anyway, did you watch the fight? If so, comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the subscribe button, please. And the up button, you know, that like button thing. And um, spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. Thanks for now. We will chat later.